Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so at the end of the last one, I said that this one was entitled Any Animal and that your first guess about what it is about is probably going to be the right one. Um, so the idea of this vlog is, you know, if you answering that sort of question that people sort of ask, which is if you could be any animal, what animal would you be? Um, so this is a bit of an odd one for me because partly, you know, throughout my life that answer might have changed several times. I've certainly spent a lot of time wondering what my life would be like if I was an animal. Um, <laughs> because that is the kind of person that I am. Um, so, where to begin with this? Um, well, there was definitely this game that I played um, as a small child at my first school, which was pretty much all about, you know, if you could turn into any animal, what would you turn into? Um, and then having like the freedom to sort of, you know, pretend you were various animals and like switch between them and stuff like that. So yeah, this is definitely something that is a very me thing to think about. Um, I think most of my life, um, the answer has been cat. I think cat is the animal that I don't necessarily relate to the most, but it's the one that I feel is the most me in a lot of ways. Um, it's certainly an animal that I feel slightly a, a, akin to. Um, I'm, I'm much more of a cat person than I am a dog person, for example. Um, there are a lot of traits about me which are more cat-like than, than anything else, but you know, a lot of people can say that about a lot of, a lot of different things. Um, where this answer kind of gets a little bit more complicated for me is rabbit has also sort of crept in as one of those things where you know i could also be a rabbit i'd, I'd be very happy being a rabbit um part of that was uh my my previous pet before my my gerbils was a rabbit and he was wonderful and lovely and i, I loved him quite a lot um, so rabbits as a whole have become more of an important animal to me on top of that my chinese zodiac sign is also a rabbit so I definitely have like a strong uh, affinity and an affiliation with with the rabbit and I understand that for me personally it's kind of a bit of a lucky animal um, and yeah so so cat and rabbit have kind of become these two sort of forerunners in the idea of you know if I could be any animal what would I be and um, cat and rabbit tend to be the two that are probably now uh, most likely for me to say but, you know, for those of you who have been paying attention um, and have, have noticed or seen any of my tattoos, you will also notice there are a lot of butterflies on me. And there are a lot of butterflies around me and, and, and in the stuff that I own. Um, I know butterfly is more of an insect than an animal, so I'm going to, you know, flip the question slightly or change the question slightly. But, yeah, butterfly is definitely another animal or insect or creature that is kind of up there um, and has a significance and meaning to me uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, I definitely consider myself to be a bit of a butterfly. So a butterfly cat rabbit. <laughs> if, if I could like try breed a creature, it would be a butterfly cat rabbit. Uh, so it would have the rabbit ears, uh, probably a cat tail or a cat body and a rabbit tail. That might be cute. Rabbit ears, cat body, rabbit tail, and butterfly wings. <laughs> that is probably my spirit animal. <laughs> An amalgamation of these three creatures. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I sort of like said with, with the cat, it's very much, you know, it's a, it's a creature that I've always felt sort of a strong association with uh, that I may not necessarily be the most cat-like person out there, but there is something about the cat that I do find very appealing, whereas the rabbit is more in, important to me for, for, uh, for more personal reasons. Um, you know, having a pet rabbit recently um, and 
that you know being born under the sign of the rabbit um, and stuff like that so there's a strong affiliation for me with with the rabbit and and, and for, for the rabbit and with the butterfly it sort of it ties into a lot of the multiverse stuff for me to be honest and it ties a lot more into the writerly side of me um i know the butterfly is supposed to be like the representation of a transformative creature and it's you know and it, it's important to, to a lot of people for, for that association um and there is a little bit of that for me um but i mostly associate the butterfly with myself as this sort of creature that is i don't know because of how it exists within the multiverse and its role within the multiverse it's got this different sort of meaning for me that for me is positive and for me it's a, it's an affirmative kind of association and it's kind of a me being okay with myself kind of thing um but not necessarily something or not necessarily something that everybody else is going to see in, in the exact same way um or for the, the exact same reasons and as i said I do also appreciate the the transformative nature of the butterfly and, and you know the the world that I live in's um, relationship with the idea and the, and the the metaphorical idea of the butterfly and how it is this creature for change and how it is this you know uh, representation of possibilities and, and ideas and imagination. So yeah, I think if I could be any three, or if I had to, to, to talk about three animals or three creatures that summed me up, those would be the creatures that sum me up, um, would be the cat, rabbit, and the butterfly. And my spirit animal is probably an amalgamation of those three creatures together, and it would have rabbit ears, cat body, rabbit tail, and butterfly wings. And it would be adorable, absolutely positively adorable. <laughs> To everybody else, it would just look like, look like some sort of freak creature, but to me, it would be like the most adorably ugly thing ever. <laughs> um, that's just me. That's that's just how, how I am. And you know, if yeah, you're, you're in the comments and you want to sort of sum yourself up with three creatures or one creature or fifteen creatures, feel free to do so. I think. You know, the idea of if you could be any one animal um, is a very limiting question anyway, because I think different points of our lives, everybody kind of associates themselves with different things for different reasons. Um, these are the three things that I feel sum me up best now. But if you'd asked me the same question 10 years ago, it probably would have just been cat, 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 cat. Um, and nothing else would have entered in whatsoever. Um, and who knows if you ask me 10 years from now, one or the other or, you know, all of those might, answers might have changed. So, yeah, I think, you know, if you want to play along at home, <laughs> then feel free to, to post um, what three animals or five animals or 17 animals or just one animal you feel sums you up the best in the comments um, and, you know, open a dialogue with people <laughs> all right okay so this is a bit of a short one again um but that's not too bad at the moment my ear is still very blocked so i'm still having a lot of trouble kind of concentrating and hearing myself properly and it's not fun and i need to get it sorted but you have to wait a certain amount of time before they will syringe your ears, and I do know this. I have been through the process so many times before. It's very um, so the topic of the next vlog is fun. No idea what I want to do for that one. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, between now and the time I have to record the next one I need to come up with what fun is about <laughs> could be so many things so so many different things all right okay so I hope you guys found this one sort of interesting um I hope you're sort of at least curious to come back next time and find out what I've decided fun is all about and I will see you guys next time see ya <laughs>
If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!